Uh, today I'm going to be going through how you cut out a person and remove the background on Infinity Designer. It's a nice, easy tutorial and quite simple to do because it's got Infinity Designer's got quite a lot of powerful tools. Uh, so just to get started, what you need to do is open the actual image file. So you don't go on new and open up um, a blank canvas. You actually go to open and open the actual image file. So if I do that, um, and I, you need to also convert it from a JPEG to a PNG file, um, which is just as simple as you go file and export the image to a PNG, because PNG works best um, with the tools we're using. So I'm going to open this picture I've got of Taylor Swift. So I basically put celebrities into Google, and this came up. Um, and what I liked about this photo, I thought it were a good example, because it's got... It's not simple, there's loads, it's quite a busy background and it's not a simple straight edge. Um, so if I want to remove her from this background, what you need to do is go to the pixel toolbar and you use the selection brush tool. And from here you've got two modes, so that's select and deselect. You've got the width, which is how big the tool is, so at the minute it's 30 and I could, if I put it up it's a lot bigger. So I'm going to leave it at um, I'm just going to leave it at 45, snap to edges is ticked and we'll use uh, re refine in a minute. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going because I'm on a Mac, I'm going to hold the option key and I'm going to zoom in and I'm just going to select the edge of her arm and as you can see the algorithm has de depicted that I want to select this edge from the colours on the pixels so I'm going to carry on clicking and, I, and now I've clicked there and it's gone into her arm which isn't an issue so what I'm going to do is just Scroll down, zoom out a little bit. So now I've I've selected this quite rubbish on purpose. So I'm just going to go around the main body of her first. And what I'm going to do is now I'm going to change the mode from select to deselect, and I'm going to zoom in and make sure I select her arm. Now can you see those little notches from the bench? That's not a problem. So let's just keep going round. And then you can actually deselect so you get the edge you want. So I'm just keeping my finger on the mouse and I'm going to make the tool a bit thinner. And just go around the edges that I want. So zoom out a little bit. So now I'm now I'm deselecting her body. I'm getting the parts that I want and the algorithms realizing where I want to cut. So it's fairly simple to do. So now I'm going to go back to select because I want to select the pavement because I don't obviously don't want that in the photo. So all I'm doing is keeping my finger on the mouse but uh, left hand mouse button and I'm just dragging up and around. Do the same again because I don't want any of this background. And then you can see I've got the line here, so I'm going to carry on. I'm going to get rid of this bit as well. So it goes to the edge of the photo. So now I've got a box going around the edge of the photo and the edge of the subject. So now I'm going to do a bit more detail. I'm just going to. So basically, what I'm going to do is zoom in under a armpit there and do make it a lot smaller so I can get some finer detail. And I've still got selection engaged. I'm just going to select around there. Make it now. So now I'm going to make the tool a bit finer again. So go. So now, as you can see, it's removing everything I want. It's gone into a sleeve a little bit there. And don't worry about these little jagged edges here, because when we go on the refine tool, we can smooth it all out. So what I'm going to do is just go deselect. Just make this a little neater. So as you can see, it's quite jagged around here, which is not a problem. So I've still got a bit of a skirt there, so what I'll do is just go and uh, deselect again and select the edges. So you need to follow this process and until you get a rough edge of what you want. So like I've got a bump there, but you don't really need to worry about that because when you go on re uh, refine, you refine the edges. So now I'm just going to go around and just double check the edges and I'll speed it up. Um, so as you can see I've got a bit of the bus stop there, so I'll zoom in and I'll speed this process up and I'm just going to go around and make sure I've got a rough outline of what I, what I want to cut out 
uh, from the photo. And then I'll be back with you and show you what you need to do next. So now you've got a rough outline outline of what you want to remove. What I'm going to do is go to refine. And as you can see there, I've missed her hand. But what's in red is what's going to be kept. And what the colourful background is what we're deleting. So what I'm going to do is just cancel that. And you can go back into the mode. I'm just going to zoom in. And I'm just going to get a hand. So all you can do is you can carry the outline on. So where you bit any bits you've missed. Or bits you need to include, like I have there on the skirt. So, so now I've gone too far and too far. So now I'll just get a hand in. And then just get rid of the background on her arm. So it does take a little bit of tinkering around, but now if I zoom out and not rotate it, I've rotated that back since, so just reset the rotation. Uh, zoom out. And what I'm going to do is go to Refine Selection again. So now that's in red is what I want to keep. And then that looks pretty good. It looks quite a smooth edge on her hair and round everything I want to keep. So I'll press Apply. So now I've got a smooth edge around and there's none of these bumps, what you've got from your manual selection. My photo is locked. So what I need to do is unlock that. So I can actually edit it. And now if I press delete, it keeps the figure I want. Go to view, sorry, select, not view, deselect it. So now I've got rid of the background on Taylor Swift. And if you export that as a PNG file, which I'm going to go down to now, export PNG. And just put it in my downloads folder. And I'll just give it another name, actually. Let's call it TS1. So now if I open that, you can see I've missed a little bit there, but you can still edit it. But the actual photo and the background's been perfectly removed. Um, you can tinker with it and re re redefine your selection as well. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. I know it was quite quick, but um, if you have, please subscribe to my channel and like the video. Um, and thanks for watching.